One of the ways I think we can really use Fig Jam well in the classroom is when you're talking about students playing out a project, working as a group. Now there's different projects that happen in the classroom. One big one they know that I used to with my students a lot, I know happens still a lot, is creating a lot of a presentation or a video in the class over a subject matter. So I just created a new Fig Jam. Uh, I'm in here and I'm gonna go over to the templates that show up here. And you know what I can do? I can actually go to more templates and I will see all of them. The nice thing is that you can see any of the ones put into your district account. Uh, we haven't really pushed out a whole lot in our district now, so I don't have a lot in there. But if I look down here, you see that I have a lot of options here, like even planning. I can go over here and try to find a nice planning template for this. Uh, and you know what? If I'm doing a presentation or I'm doing a video, I like the storyboard template, so I'm gonna add that right now. Then you can see it just pops it in right now, and I could actually zoom out a little bit, and I still have all of this canvas to work with. That's the nice thing about Fig Jam is that it's not just relegated to one page. You have a canvas to work with, and if you need to zoom in on something, you just zoom in. And I can go in here, and I can delete the components I don't want, or I can you know add in things as I need to go. So this is really nice. I have the template. It's a great start for that. So I could modify this for my students to make it more exact with what we need in the classroom, or, you know, I can just let the kids use this template from the start. Now, nice little thing is I'm gonna go down here to the more tab. Uh, I'm gonna hide that real quick. I'm gonna go down to the more tab and you see I can actually go to more templates here. And I can see some other things on this. And so I can go through, I can search through the templates. I can add more into it. So let's say I wanna use the stand-up templates. I'm gonna add that. And so you're gonna say, well, what happened to the other template? Well, if I just zoom out here, it's to the left. So I'm just adding that template again to my Fig Jam canvas. That's what I like to call it. And I can use this now to help plan out stuff. I know it's, you know, typical stand up, we're gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna just call this to do. I'm gonna say this one is my doing tab. And, you know, blockers be, you know, what's the obstacles in the way? So I could even add a different one here. Like say, if I really wanted to, I could just copy this. So I'm just doing control C, control V. And you see, I copied the whole thing. So I can line it up here. I love getting my lines on that. And I'm just going to say done on this one. So I can move anything in there done. You know what? We got to change the color too. So I can go up here and I'm going to make purple my done color. And now I can easily add into to that. So I have my workflow on here. I could figure out all my tasks in here as I'm creating this storyboard for my presentation or my video. I can then move my tasks in between the doing and I can identify blockers in there. I can even go through and delete things I don't need anymore. I can you know, highlight a section and delete. I can highlight this whole area and move this to the side. So it's a nice little thing where I can even scroll over and I can work with that. So now for my students, they're creating their video, they're creating the presentation. I can now have their storyboard worked out. I can have them working on this, adding to this. They can go up here, they can share it with me. They can make it so that I can see it. I can have them turn it into maybe Google Classroom or anything like that. Um, and so they can either add me as a teacher or make it so that anyone can edit. Obviously anyone in my school district can edit this one right now. Uh, and of course I would remind them that they need to go up here and retitle that. Uh, you know, they need to have a specific title and uh, student names would be typically the thing I tell my kids to use for that too. So now they have their Fig Jam. They can be working on this while they're using whatever tools they need to to create the video or the presentation. And when they're done, I can go back to this and see the work that they put into it. And the final product is not just one or the other. I get to see both. So this is the way you can use Fig Jam to help students as they're creating a presentation or a video.